New developments. A Cobb County mother is speaking out. Police say she smoked marijuana and was driving with her five-month-old in the car. They also found an Uzi in her car's trunk. Channel 2's Dave Halston is live in Cobb County. The woman says things were blown out of proportion. Dave? Jovita, that woman was said she was filling up with gas at this convenience store when detectives pulled up behind her. Katina Eberly told me that uh, she admits to smoking marijuana earlier in the day, but not in her car and not in front of her five-month-old baby girl. And she says, as far as that Uzi in the trunk is concerned, she says, what's wrong with that? I cried my eyes out all night last night. Only Channel 2 Action News talked to Katina Barbie, the Cobb County mother who went to jail after police pulled up behind her while she was getting gas at this convenience store. And next thing you know, you had Cobb County, probably six Cobb County cars. The police report said the car reeked of marijuana. There was marijuana in the car, but there was no smoking marijuana in the car. We got charged with possession, which is true. She admits she smoked marijuana earlier, but not while driving or in front of her five-month-old daughter. The police report says she was also charged with reckless conduct. It is false accusation. My child was not endangered. Police also found an Uzi in the trunk of her car. Her Facebook page has her posing with several guns, but she says that's not against the law. I have a second amendment right. The gun in the trunk was legal. Everything is legal. She doesn't face any charges for having the Uzi, and her daughter is not in state custody. I would have my baby in my arms if she's taking a nap right now. Again, Barbie says she does have a permit to carry that gun. I placed several calls and emails to Cobb County Police to get more details on this case. I'm still working to get a response from them. Barbie's next court date? It's in a couple of weeks. Reporting live from Cobb County, Dave Huddleston, Channel 2 Action News. Dave, thank you.